What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video on this channel. So you guys must be wondering why this video? Why on earth should I do anything like this with my device? And the answer is simple. To get more access and features. So basically in this video, let's have a look at how you can unlock the bootloader of your OnePlus Nord and root it so as to get a lot of features, access to custom rooms and a lot more. Anyways, now you must be having questions in mind like should I unlock the bootloader and will it void my warranty and everything and I'll give a short answer to all that. So you need to unlock the bootloader first so that you can install Magisk and root your device and after that you can do lots and lots of stuff. From auto call recording to Dolby Atmos and more features that are just not present on your device. And it comes at a small cost, that is apps like Netflix and Prime Video are restricted to 720p only but you can always lock the bootloader again. Second, no it won't void the warranty of your device and unless you manage to damage the hardware somehow, which is quite rare, but hey, humans can do anything. So if you have doubts, then please don't proceed further and mess up your device as this process will erase all your data. So do take a backup. So in short, it opens up new possibilities of what you can do with your device by giving you more control over it. Now let's get into how you can unlock the bootloader in the first place and you need a PC for it. So first of all, you need to install ADB and fastboot drivers on your PC and links to all of them are in the description area. So download all the files in one go to make this process a lot easier. And if your device doesn't get detected by PC, then you need to install USB drivers from the link in description area. So after that, go to device manager, right click on this update drivers option now choose browse my PC for drivers. In here, click on this let me pick from list of available drivers option. Then choose ADB drivers from the list and your device will get detected easily. Once you have installed these drivers, we can proceed further and it hardly takes a minute to unlock it. And before you connect your device to PC, turn on USB debugging and allow bootloader unlocking in developer options. And if you don't know where they are, we'll tap on build number 8 times in about phone section. So now restart your device in fastboot mode and for that you can just press and hold volume up, down and power key simultaneously. So after a couple of seconds you will get this screen. So if you have reached here then congratulations, you did a great job and if you did not then you have to try again, as simple as that. Now connect your device to PC and open command prompt in your PC in the same folder where you downloaded everything. So in the address bar type cmd and press enter. Now type fastboot space oem space unlock and press the enter button. So this will trigger the device to unlock the bootloader and now use volume keys and select ok on the device. And now just wait for a few minutes for the device to reboot. So you are all set. You have successfully unlocked the bootloader of your device. Well done. And before we proceed further, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now to root your device, first of all download TWRP and magisk.zip from the link in description area. Now transfer this magisk.zip file to your device. Basically consider this TWRP like an area to install all the third party zip files, mods etc. Now just reboot your device to the fastboot mode as you did in step 1 and I won't repeat the steps but here they are on your screen. So once you are in fastboot mode, connect your device to the PC, open command prompt in the same way as you did in step 1 in the same folder. So in cmd, type fastboot space boot space twrp.img and this will take you into DWRP recovery. And if you are wondering what all this will do, well stay with me and follow the steps alright. So once you have booted in this DWRP recovery, tap on this install tile and choose magisk.zip file. Now swipe to confirm flash and once it's done, well what to say, you have successfully rooted your device. Yes, it's that simple. I told you right from the start. And now just reboot your device and you are all set. Now you can backup all your applications with data, flash mods like Dolby Atmos, get auto call recorder and a lot more. And if you are like me, then we are going to have a lot of fun with this whole new world we just unlocked. To verify if you have done it successfully, just download this root checker app from the Google Play Store and it will show you the status. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video, do like, share and subscribe, you know the drill right, and I'll see you in the next one.